Hello and welcome to the Essential Rabbit Guide, a five-step programme to rabbit ownership. With professional advice from Alan Wilson from the RWAF, we'll be telling you everything you need to know about keeping your bunnies happy and healthy. Hello and welcome to the Essential Rabbit Guide, five steps to caring for your rabbits. Here in step one, we're going to talk about the environment and to join me is Alan Wilson from the RWAF. Hi Alan. Hi. So one of the most overlooked parts of rabbit care is actually the environment that they live in. We've got a lovely big hutch and run here. Tell us why this is so important. Okay, yeah, as you say, this is, this is lovely. It's a big secure enclosure. There's the hutch and run attached, and that's really important because it means the rabbits can come and go as they please, and that suits them much better because a lot of the time they won't be active and a lot of the time they want to be active. Um, we've got a tarpaulin. We'd normally have this at least halfway covered, so in, in rain or hot sun, they're, they're protected from the elements. We've got it open so we can see in. We've got a hay rack suspended from the ground so that it doesn't get wet in case the grass gets moist. Um, we've got We've got tunnels there you can see Bocky's having fun with. Um, they can go in and out of that and they can really enjoy themselves. Um, we've got a digging pit um, which often runs, this one's on grass, a lot of runs are on, in people's gardens are on concrete. So this allows the rabbits to dig and, and that's one of their natural behaviours. I mean there's four important ones, there's, there's, there's others, but the main four are running, jumping, digging and foraging. And this setup allows them to do all of these. Um, they can, they've got plenty of space to run around, they can dig in the digging pit and they can, just, they can just have fun. We've got a water bowl and a bottle. The bowl allows them to get more water if they need it in, in hot sun. Um, the water bottle, you need to check regularly to make sure it doesn't get stuck. But other than that, this is, you know, it's a great setup. And also the height is important. They can stand up fully and rear up, which, is, which they do like to do, it's often overlooked. So is it possible to keep rabbits indoors? Absolutely, um, plenty of people do. Um, just all the things we've talked about, uh, the space, um, the companionship, and all, all that stuff is, still stands. They need to, have, to meet all those requirements. Have them indoors by all means. They're intelligent creatures, they can be litter trained, but you will have to bunny proof your house. Um, cables, furniture will get chewed, so it's not a, something you can undertake lightly, but it can be done very successfully. So in summary, the environment needs to be large, secure, weatherproof, predator-proof. It needs to allow them to rear up fully and display their natural behaviours. So please remember to go to our website for more information and join us in step two to talk about diet. 